What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp free quick tutorial for you. So I've been getting the question a lot lately of how do you change units inside of the free online version of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is an example model you can download from the 3D warehouse. This is Furniture Outside 18 by Josh Garno. So if you want to download this and follow along, you can do that. So right now, the way that you can measure distances inside of SketchUp Free is you can use either the tape measure tool or the dimensions tool. But right now, let's say for example that you wanted to be in metric um, and it defaults to imperial. So for example, if I was to measure between this point and this point, you can see how this comes in at four foot two inches. Well, if you want that to be in metric, you need to change your units. And so the way that you can do that is by going over to the bar on the right hand side of your screen, you want to go down to the option for model info. And so within model info, this window right here, there's a little ruler. That ruler allows you to change units. So let's say for example, or the section under the ruler allows you to change units. So let's say for example that I was to add some dimensions in here. So let's say I was to dimension this out. You can see how these are currently in feet and inches. Well, you can change this to millimeters, centimeters, meters. You can also do architectural inches, decimal inches, and decimal feet. Notice how each one of these gives you a precision option. So for example, the inches option allows you to set your precision to an eighth of an inch, a quarter inch, a half inch, or rounding to an inch. You can use this to adjust not only your units, but also the precision of your units inside of SketchUp. Same thing for millimeters, centimeters, and meters. You can set the number of decimal places things get rounded to using these options as well. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? What other questions do you have about SketchUp Free? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.